Good day learners, welcome to Mathematical Literacy Grade 11. I am Miss Nina Albert Vermeulen and we will be doing cost price, selling price and break even analysis today. Let's go and look at practice questions. The cost price of Jade's jackets amounts to 151 Rand 97 per jacket. He decides that he wants to make a profit of 40%. Determine the selling price of the jacket if his profit margin is 40%. So now we know the selling price needs to increase with that 40%. The cost price is 100%. Our profit is 40%. So now our selling price will be 140% of the cost price, which is 151,97. Therefore, we are going to say 151,97 times 100 and 40% to get the selling price and then our selling price will be 212 rand and 76 cents. So let's just recap what did we do here. We looked at the percentages of the profit margin then we added 40% and we arrived at the answer of 212 rand and 76 cents. Kelly bakes pies and sells them at school. Her fixed expenses amount to 550 rand per month and her variable expenses amount to 6 rand 50 per pie. Determine a formula that she can use to calculate her total cost in the form total cost equals and then the rest of the equation. Now remember total cost is always your fixed cost plus your variable cost. Now a fixed cost is constant so that is 550 Rand plus a variable cost of 6 rand 50 per pi. But we never use the words per or whatever that follows in an equation. We need to substitute that per pi with a n. So it's going to be my total cost is going to be 550 plus 6 rand 50 times n, where n is the number of pies. Now, where are we going to use this formula? Every time we want to calculate our total cost, we are going to use this formula and substitute the number of pies that we will be baking into the formula in the place of n. Now we know Kelly bakes pies and sells them at school and we know her fixed expenses is 550 Rand per month and her variable expenses amount to 6 Rand 50 per pie. Calculate her cost price per pie if she bakes 50 pies. Now remember the cost price per unit is the fixed cost plus the variable cost And then we are going to divide it by 
the number of units. So what's going to happen there is it's going to be the 550 plus the 650 times the number of pies that she will be making divided by the number of pies. Can you see here at the top, it is the exact same formula from the previous question. And then we will see that her cost price per unit or per buy is 17 Rand 50. So it will cost her in total variable cost and fixed cost 17 Rand 50. Now she wants to add 27% profit. Let's just reread the question. Kelly bakes 50 pies and sells them at school. Her fixed expenses amount to 550 Rand per month and her variable expenses amount to 6 Rand 50 per pie. Calculate her selling price per pie if she adds 27% profit. Now, from the previous answer, we know that it is 17 Rand 50 is her cost price. Now we need to add the profit at 27%. So if you take your calculator quickly, 17 Rand 50 times 27% is a profit of 4 Rand 73 cents. So that means she is going to sell them for 17 Rand 50 plus my profit 4 Rand 73 cents. So I add the 17 Rand 50 and then her selling price will be 22 Rand 23 cents. Or the shorter way that I've been showing you for quite a while now, it's 17 Rand 50 times 127%. And that gets us quickly to the answer of 22 Rand 23 cents. So what is she going to do? Her pies cost 17 Rand 50. She's going to sell them for 22 Rand 23 and she will be making a profit of 4 Rand 73 per pie. Let's quickly take a break. I'll see you soon.